Okay. So, today is May 19th. It's 11.20 a.m. and today I graduate, which this might be kind of a long video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post it on YouTube or not, but if I do and if you're watching, you should probably just put me on in the background and just listen if you actually care about this video because this might be a long one. So I've, I've been thinking that, you know, I've been wanting to do something special, especially like just a video for my graduation, you know, I don't know, in the end, you know, I spent five years in college, and anyone can do it, it's not like it's some special, oh, you have to be this smart, you have to be this driven, you have to be this or be that, really anyone can do it, anyone. Clearly, like, if you even just see me, I did it. I know countless of others who did it as well. Some being extremely smart, some people being different types of smarts. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But basically, anyone can do it. Main thing for me, and I think the main thing why I'm all freaking out right now, is because I'm thinking back on the journey that I took in the past five years, going from where I was to where I am now. So I don't know if many of you guys know, but my first my first semester of college, I got or I received a 1.13 GPA, which that is beyond garbage. That's beyond terrible. It's just it's one of the worst things you can ever possibly get in college. Like I basically almost well I was on academic probation because I did so horribly. Now, it was my uh, first semester in college. I was living in the dorms. I was in my band at the time. I believe it was um, Fear in Her Eyes. Uh, working at Best Buy. And I was taking a full, a full slate of classes. Oh, it's gonna be weird talking with people around me. Um, but a full range of classes as well. So, you know, my first semester, I generally always do very well in fall, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go balls to the wall, I'm going to take the most classes I can take, the most difficult ones, so I can get them all out of the way, so I don't have to deal with them again, until like major classes and everything. So I took stats, which I'm terrible at math, I'm terrible at sciences, period. I took stats, bio, poli-sci, English, and psychology. So, 16 units, freshman year, living in the dorms, out of my parents' house for the first time in my life, uh, working and spending a majority of my time in my band. So, <laughs> that was just a recipe for disaster. And thinking back on it, it was not what I should have done at all. Like... I should have taken it easy because I was talking like I saw other like old classmates from high school and stuff on campus that season and I was like oh how many classes are you taking and they were like oh yeah like two hard classes and two electives and I was like what's this guy doing like I'm taking five hard classes I don't take any electives like that's weird but come to find out like my bio class Halfway through the semester, I just decided not to go because I think I failed like the first two tests and I failed a couple of the quizzes and I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. Like, there's nothing else I can do. So I just stopped going in the middle of the semester, which was terrible. Um, so that was one of my Fs. Another F was in my stats class, I'm just terrible math period. So I actually, I really tried in that class, especially at the end. I was trying to get a lot of uh, tutoring from my old friend Gina, and um, I was really trying to pass that class, but I ended up failing it as well. And then my English class, I'm pretty sure my teacher just let me off and gave me a C because he felt bad, because how terribly I was doing and everything else, because he kind of knew what I was um, going through. So I got seen that. Then I got a B minus in psychology because that was easy because I love psychology and everything. So didn't even try, got a B minus. 
and then in political science, I got a D plus. So, F, F, D plus, C, B minus. Beyond terrible. So, when you look at that in comparison to what I did last semester, last semester I got 3.61. Now, and that was with working full time at Best Buy. So, I've really changed and I'm just excited as to see myself grow to what I was to what I am now. And of course back then I was also depressed because I was failing out of college and I just felt like utter crap. It was terrible. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> so after I left CSUN after that dreaded first semester, I went to Pierce for two and a half years. And honestly, that two and a half years just feels like a blur. Like, <clears throat> I didn't really care. I was just kind of like, oh, why not Pierce, community college, this kind of sucks. <clears throat> I wasn't able to make it at CSUN, which people thought was easy at CSUN. So I was like, shit, like, this is just terrible. Like, this is the last thing I wanted to happen. But I ended up, I did okay through my Pierce career. I got, I think I averaged like a 3.0, maybe a little bit less. Like, I think like a 2.8, something around there. So, that was a blur. Uh, I had one of my best, which I'm going to talk about not only school, but just my life in general. Uh, besides the classes, I, uh, you know, I had a few relationships as well. One of them being my uh, relationship of two years with uh, Samantha, and that was awesome. Um, it was a really great experience, one of my best relationships I've ever had. Learned a lot about myself. Uh, she taught me a lot about myself. <clears throat> and it was just great. We had a lot of fun. That was great and everything. Since then, uh, I've had, I think, I've had one other girlfriend. And I'm just trying to live life right now because... Oh, bro. Uh, I'm just trying to live life because in the end of the day, I'm 23. I know everyone tells you that, hey, you need to get married by at least 30, 35, so you can have kids, repopulate this earth, buy a house, get a job after you graduate, um, and just live out your years, retire, and then die. Over the years and over the course of college, I've kind of realized that I don't want to do that. Like, a lot of people want to do that, and that's awesome. You know, <laughs> they say, do you. Uh, do what you want to do, but for me, I'm kind of liking the idea of just staying single for a really long time. I mean, I'm in no rush at all to get married, to have a long-term relationship again. Like, I was that guy that always was in a relationship at all times, and I was, I kind of just got dependent on it. Like... And that's the thing, you don't, well, a lot of people, they can do this, but personally, I wasn't able to really find myself until after that long relationship and after my last relationship, with, which was about um, a year and a few months ago, so like a year and a half ago. Because honestly, like, I had to force myself to be comfortable with hanging out with myself. Because before, I was always dependent on someone going with me to everything, I never wanted to go anywhere alone. Uh, like, it was just bad. I didn't want to hang out with myself. But, especially last summer, that entire summer, I spent it by myself. And that was it. Even on my birthday. Oh, what up? What up, Blake? You know, but um, that entire summer, I spent it hanging out with myself. And I got way more comfortable with myself than I ever was. Even on my birthday, uh, on my birthday even, I didn't hang out with anyone, I didn't do anything. Well, I, I, what I did was, I just decided to drive north and just go wherever it took me. So, that morning I just woke up, got on the freeway and just started heading north along the beach. Uh, stopped by at a few beaches, certain beaches I hadn't been to before, stopped off at places that looked cool, and it was, crap load of fun like that's probably one of the most fun times I've ever had on my birthday because I was able to hang out with myself and I was used to it at that point and it was just an awesome day like I want to go do that again like I want to go hang out with myself 
And that, I think, is critical because I don't think a lot of people allow themselves to hang out with only themselves. Because obviously society tells us that, hey, if you're a loner, that's bad. If you just stay alone, like, I don't know where I'm playing with this, but basically, I think a key concept is to make sure that you're comfortable with being alone. And not just being able to say, like, actually going and doing it. Because I would say, oh yeah, like, I'm cool with hanging out uh, by myself, blah, blah, blah. But in actuality, I was terrified of it. I did not want to do that at all. So, yeah. So, one word of advice that was great for me was learn to just hang out with yourself. Don't focus on anyone else, just focus on yourself. Do what you want to do, do what you love. Uh, yeah, back, back to college anyways. So, I was, I went to Pierce for two and a half years, and I transferred back to CSUN, which when I transferred back, I had no idea what my previous GPA was. So I tried calling and trying to figure out my GPA, and it wasn't until I got to my portal that I was like, holy crap, I got a 1.13 GPA. So I was talking to the counselors, and they were saying that, yeah, if you don't get at least a 3.0 when you come back, then you'll be kicked out of CSUN. Because you have to maintain like a 2.7 as a junior, and I was way below that, I was 1.13, so I needed a bunch of A's to raise those F's and B's. So I was like, all right, so I got to call last, and I got to do what I need to do. So my first semester, back to CSUN, I got a 3.25, which I was proud of that, because I was like, you know what, I worked hard for that, that was good. Second semester I was back, I got a 2.9, because uh, I mean, that was during spring, and I always do better in fall, and that's why it's a mindset as well, just don't, don't give in to mindsets, to mindsets, but um, I got 2.9 last spring. And then last semester, um, well, last summer is when I went full-time at work. And then I was also full-time at school, too. And that first semester, I was scared. And I was like, how am I going to work 40 hours a week and go to school 40 hours a week? Like, I was scared shitless. But I needed the money, and I wanted to save up for my master's. So, I, I don't know how I did it, but I got a 3.61. GPA, and I worked my 40 hours a week, and I saved about five figures over a year, which I'm still, well, well a lot of, yeah, five figures in about a year and a half, actually, yeah, yeah a year and a half, and I saved 60% of my paycheck, and I'm so happy I did that. If I didn't do that, then I would not be able to be looking at master's programs that I wanted to and everything. So anyways, I did that, I got 3.61, and I was super stoked. Um, but then, during winter, like, this semester has been extremely hard for me. Um, I was, again, working full-time, but with winter break, it was during, obviously, Christmas season and everything, so I had no break. I worked crap time, and I wasn't able to breathe. And to make it worse, I got sick right before the semester started. So I was basically sick for the first like month and a half to two months of the semester. So that dragged me down a lot and it was making me depressed and sad and I was like crap. You know, I I did so well during during fall that now if I mess up in spring, like that's gonna suck. So I was sick for the first month and a half, two months, and I was taking three forms of level classes, which were all, you know, the upper upper division classes, and a 381, which was primarily scientific based, so math based. So I was like, crap, how am I gonna get through this? Um, I still haven't got my grades back yet, and it probably will be one of the worst semesters of my season career. Um, I will admit, I did not do so hot. I got one of my grades back, I got a B plus, 
but I was expecting an A in that class. So that kind of tells you where I kind of am. But, uh, so, B plus in that class, and I'm hoping to get an A in another class, a B or B plus in another, and then I'll probably get a C in this other class, because I just did not do well in the midterm at all, and on the final, I don't feel like I did that well either. Um, I'm hoping the best, hope for the best, um, hopefully I'll maybe get a C plus, maybe B minus, that would, I would be ecstatic if I got a B minus, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so that was, get around this guy, uh, so that was this last semester, and it's like at the end, for the last week and a half, I've been watching the bleachers go up on the lawn where we're going to be graduating. Oh, help. Copy, copy, trying to get some people. They think they speed in, which by the way, funny story, on this freeway is the first and only time that I ever got a speeding ticket. So, Simi Valley cops do not like me because my speedometer has been broken ever since I got this truck. So I have no idea how fast I'm going, except for I drive stick. So I can kind of tell by the RPM meter, but even then it's not foolproof. Because that time it's fifth gear, like, I don't know how fast I'm going at all. So, whoop. What up, buddy? Uh, yeah. So that kind of encapsulates, encapsulates uh, my college career, which I'm sure I'm leaving out a bunch of detail. Because, I mean, it did take me five years to graduate. Which, by the way, I'm going back to season next semester for one class, but I mean, I'm 99% done. Which, by the way, I'm super stoked to go back for one class. Because I'll be working full-time and only going for one class. So, like, I won't be stressing as much as I was before. Like, I am super stoked for having one class. And of course, after that, I'm going to be taking, obviously, spring semester off. And during the summer, I'm going to be... Oh, American Jewish University. Um, and this summer, I'm going to be trying to figure out uh, which college I want to go to for grad school. Because I will be moving to Orange County. Um, I'm kind of sick of where I am right now. And I love the beach. I love nature. So I'm like, you know... I'm going to go to the Orange County where my sister lives. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to be by the beach. I'm going to start surfing. So I am super stoked about that next chapter of my life. But this semester, or this summer, I'm going to be figuring out um, where exactly I want to go to grad school. Because I'm looking at uh, Long Beach, Fullerton, Irvine, Possibly SDSU, but it's a little farther, a little farther than where I want to uh, be, because I really want to be close to my sister. Um, oh, Denver Broncos license plate, awesome. Um, right lane must turn right. Yes, I will turn right. Don't worry about that. Right. But I'm pretty freaking weird if you didn't notice that. You're now getting my full, uh, uh, freakish nature. Which I can be weirder than this. Especially with music in the car, I'll go crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Just, uh, college is fun. And it's scary, because, I mean, again, I'm 23 now, and I feel like I'm old as hell. Like, seven more years, and then I'm 30, and then I feel like it's downhill from there. Like, I don't know. Five years. Which, by the way, now I've been at... Um, now I've been at Best Buy for five years. Which, again, that's crazy. Oh, Sequoia. Which, by the way, Sequoia is where all the, uh, the major classes are. Uh, Sequoia Hall, because that's where child development classes are. Cause, oh yeah, I'm planning on either being, um, like, focusing on uh, autism, 
form a master's, be a family therapist, or possibly just be a special ed teacher. But the more I find out about teachers, the less I want to be one because they get crap pay and, and it seems like a lot of stress and a lot of hours. And with my anxiety, like I don't want to, uh, oh, I just burped. Um, my anxiety, I don't need that long hours with not a lot of pay, like that does not sound like a lot of fun. Green light, all right. But, oh, by the way, my mom put on my windshields, like the, congratulations, graduate, we love you. And on the back, it's like something Josh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. What's out today? Graduate, 6 p.m. Super stoked. Oh, Galena, there we go. Uh, right now, like I previously told you, I think I'm gonna go have lunch with my grandparents. Um, that'll be fun. Red's barbecue. Get some steak. 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 Whoa, by the way, I actually, uh, I just set up my massive drum set again. So hopefully I'll be able to do covers now. I keep saying that. I really want to. But yeah, it might not happen. But we'll see. But yeah. I, I'll take a picture of that or something and I'll show you guys. Because it looks so badass. Like, I literally set up all my drums again. So, yeah. Okay, Red's Barbecue. I got here without using GPS, without using Lola. So I'm pretty stoked about that because I'm figuring out how to get places. Which I just looked at MapQuest once and I figured out how to get here. <sighs> straighten out a little bit better. Oh, I'm good. Why do I... Man, why do I think? This is the other one. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm graduating college. Oh, I kind of want to also do, like, a encapsulating, like, picture review or video view or something involving me graduating. Because I think that would be kind of cool. But that will take a really long time. So I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, my sister. Sister just texted me. Enjoy this day. Oh, all right. This, she literally just texted me this. She said, enjoy this day. Seriously, life goes so fast. Love you. See, I love my sister. My sister is fucking amazing. Which, by the way, even me graduating today, graduating today turning 18, turning 21, whatever the fuck, like literally... Again, my favorite day of my life up to this point is still my sister's wedding. Nothing, possibly if I ever get married, that'll probably top it. But as of right now, through everything that I've been through, through getting divorced, through right now graduating college, <clears throat> through exes, through the happiness that I've had with all of those memories and everything, like my top memory by far period is my sister's wedding like far had the most the best time ever i love my sister and her husband grant dearly they are fucking amazing and i wouldn't be here without them at all by far like they're they're the ones one of them, they're the main ones um they're the reasons why i'm here right now but yeah i don't know what else to say so i'm gonna stop the video here but thanks for listening. If you got to this point, it's great. Hopefully there's some insight or something or you got something from it. I don't know. But this is kind of my thoughts, which I'm sure there'll be more. But you know, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything, if you want me to go into details of anything. Because I've been through a lot. Well, not, not like being dramatic, but I've, gone, I've had a lot of experiences and I feel like I could possibly help people going through college because it was very difficult for me especially in that first year a lot of emotions a lot of figuring out so yeah let me know guys oh it's windy now it's windy but um yeah thanks for watching